Well, we're, we're nearing the end of the program. You have uh, a place to finish with uh, G.K. Chesterton. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I would like to just bring one little bit here. In the early 30s, G.K. spent a semester as an artist in residence at the University of Notre Dame in South Bend. A place where both of us graduated, I'll make. And he saw his first game. A football. His, football, a football. his football game. And from that experience, drew a comparison between ancient Rome with its Colosseum and the Golden Dome of the university, surmounted by the Statue of the Virgin, looking down uh, on the stadium uh, where they were, there was a football game. Uh, I'd like to just run through it. It just takes a couple of minutes. There uprose the golden giant in the gilded house of Nero, even his far-flung flaming shadow and his image swollen large, looking down on the dry whirlpool of the round arena spinning as the chariot wheel goes spinning and the chariots at the charge. Saw the molten monstrous visage, saw the pageants, saw the torments. Down the golden dust undazzled saw the gladiators go. Heard the cry in the closed desert, Te salutant morituri, as the slaves of doom and stumbling, shuddering to the shades below. Lord of life, of liars and laughter, those about to die salute thee at thy godlike fancy, feeding men with bread and beasts with men. But for us, the fates point deathward and a thousand thumbs thrust downward, and the dog of hell is roaring through the lions and the dead. I have seen where a strange country opened its secret plains about me. One great golden dome stands lonely with its golden image one. Seen afar in strange fulfillment through the sunlit Indian summer, that apocalyptic portent that has clothed her with the sun. She too looks upon the arena, sees the gladiators in grapple, she whose names are seven sorrows and the cause of all our joy, sees the pit that stank with slaughter, scoured to make the courts of mourning for the cheers of jesting kindred and the scampering of a boy. Queen of death and deadly weeping, those about to live and salute thee, youth untroubled, youth untortured, hateless war and harmless mirth, and the new lord's larger, largest, holier bread and happier circus, since the queen of sevenfold sorrow has brought joy upon the earth, burns above the broad arena where the swirling centuries circle, burns the sun cloth on the summit, golden sheeted, golden shod, like a sunburst on the mountains, like the flames upon the forest of the sunbeams, of the sword blades, of the gladiators of God. And I saw them shock the whirlwind of the world of dust and dazzle, and thrice they stamped a thunderclap, and thrice the sand wheels swirled, and thrice they cried like thunder on Our Lady of the Victories, the mother of the Master of the masters of the world. Queen of death and life undying, those about to live salute thee, not the crawlers with the cattle looking deathward with the swine, but the shout upon the mountain of the men that live forever, who are free of all things living, but a child and he was thine. <laughs>